So how many of you know about the Southern Manifesto that opposed integrated schools? It was on March 12, 1956, when Senator Harry Boyd of Virginia convinced 101 out of 128 congressmen representing the 11 states of the old Confederacy to sign the Southern Manifesto on Integration. So in total, it was 19 senators and 82 representatives who assigned their name opposing integration of schools. Now that's about one-fifth of Congress during that time. The document claimed the U.S. Supreme Court in 1954, Brown v. Board of Education, was declared racially segregated public education unconstitutional, constituted an abuse of power, a violation of federal law. Man, you can't make this shit up. The manifesto literally accused the Supreme Court of jeopardizing the social justice of white people and their habits, traditions, and their way of life. It also said that the Brown decision would destroy the relationship of white people and Negroes that they have created with over 90 years of patience. But the time period they referenced was in fact an error characterized by Jim Crow and racial terror. Now that was March 12, 1956, only 67 years ago. And I guarantee you, one of the names of a standing Congress member right now is signed to that Southern Manifesto opposing integrated schools. Now that is CRT. Stop playing with me.